Using a 9 64 Allen wrench on the assembly screw end and a 5 64 Allen wrench on the tensioner cap end, loosen the assembly screw counterclockwise. Don't completely remove the screw yet. While loosening the assembly screw, keep slight pressure inward on the screw head and on the tensioner cap at the opposite end of the magazine. Hold pressure on the end plate and tensioner cap nut to control the parts as the screw is loosened. Remove the hexagon shaped tensioner cap nut and the end plate. The first round load assist lever and rotor washer will come out. Remove the rotor with spring inside. There is no need to remove the spring from inside the rotor. Note that one vein on the rotor is longer than the others. This will be lined up at the opening of the feed lips when reassembling. Remove the assembly screw from the front of the magazine body. Magazine is disassembled for cleaning. Gently remove any fouling from the parts of the magazine. After cleaning, wipe all parts dry prior to reassembly. An oily or greasy magazine collects dust and debris faster than a dry one will. Magazine reassembly. Insert the assembly screw into the body and hold the pieces together. Insert the rotor and spring into the magazine body in the direction shown. Replace metal feed lips onto magazine housing. The round metal bolster at the front of the metal feed lips goes into the corresponding hole in the black plastic at the front of the magazine body. And place the rotor washer in position. Lay the first round load assist lever on the magazine body. Set the magazine end cap in place on the magazine housing. The spring tail protrudes from the hole in the center of the end cap. Align the small notch on the tensioner cap nut and the spring tail. Hold the tensioner nut with a 5 64 Allen wrench. While holding the magazine pieces aligned and in position with the Allen wrenches, Starting with the internal coil spring untensioned, rotate the tensioner cap three revolutions clockwise, as viewed from the rear clear plastic end. Press the tensioner nut into the corresponding recess of the clear plastic magazine end plate and hold it there. While holding the tensioner cap nut in place, use your 964th hex wrench at the front of the magazine body to tighten the assembly screw. Ensure that the assembly screw is tightened firmly. The screw will bottom out in the cap nut. With magazine reassembled, verify proper spring tension and functioning by loading and unloading several rounds.